Mm. Rise and shine. That was creepy. Okay, hey guys, welcome to the final part of episode three of Batman the Telltale series. And uh, basically, we are going to meet Vicky Vale because she has a source which uh, got her in touch with the leader of the Children of Arkham. So we're going to try and track that down, try and, I, I guess, uh, get out of her. I don't know what by what means, but I guess we'll find out. So let's jump straight in with part three, the final part of episode three, New World Order. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were going to show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Ah, uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. You gave them a platform to promote themselves. You're helping them get what they want. What they want is an end to corruption. Something I've heard you claim to support as well. Unless that's all just a rumor. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You are putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. I love the transition. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So... What are you going to do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. He didn't promise, he just nodded his head slightly. Maybe he looked at the floor, it wasn't even necessarily a nod. Skytrain Depot Highland Line. Highland Line. <gasps> okay, I really hope we get some sort of like Skyline fight because in The Incredibles they have that, the, the train one, and that's pretty cool. So hopefully we can have one where we're like, maybe fight on top of it or we kick someone off it or something. Although saying that, we'll probably just end up being in a room or some sort of warehouse near the Skyline. But I guess we'll see.
Sky train, that's right, man, no skyline. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. He does do a lot of needless acrobatics. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Okay, I guess all we can do is really walk forward here and look at this dead body. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. Okay, shouldn't he be looking into, like, who he is? He was shot dead center. Like, work out who he is and how executed. they kind of could have got... It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. ...connecting with him and employing him, if that's the word for it. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only... They're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? Drank it? I saw that we've got a map. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. Hmm. This depot <laughs> Hold is pretty chin. centrally located. Okay, what we've got over here? We have timer parts and a timer. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? I'm looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. <gasps> it's one of the busiest places in the city. God damn it. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Okay, so we have him being dead. Okay, we've got chemical barrels. That's never a good sign. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay, we can walk around here. Ooh, that's Someone's cool. Someone's been practicing chemistry. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. I know what you mean. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Okay, so then surely... That would link to him. They've altered the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. Mmm. Okay, so what have we got? We've got these barrels, we've got an empty container. Do they link together? I don't know, let's just try it. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. And uh, we need something to link to the timetable. He looks cool in red. I should have gone for red. Red or purple, that's what I was going to go. Oh, okay, we've got stuff up here. Okay, so I guess we'll link that with the map. That makes sense. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Sprinkler nozzle? Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Oh, so we'll go over and spread it as it's going. Fires. Okay, that makes sense. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. Maximum coverage. That's a bit, I don't know, slightly perverted somehow. All right, let's see if we can squeeze through here and then connect it. Link to... Okay, good. Just managed to squeeze it in there. That's what she said. A modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. The drug. 
the children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. Yep. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! Yes, they wouldn't have been able to see him there, would they? As he grappled up in front of their fucking window. If I'd known you were gonna make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. Why is she working for them if she got shot? We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. <sighs> we'll have to make do, I guess. He looks like Deadshot from uh, the Arkham series. It's weird they give him like such a similar outfit. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, the Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Board. She plays whatever side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on keeping all nine of her lives. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. <laughs> you might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cole. We shall sit on the fence. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation. What did that hit? Because at first I thought it hit him in the face, but he's just like fine, so I guess it did. Alright, here we go. Another quick time thing. Jesus Christ, this fucking run knee him in the fucking face. That was awesome. Ouch. Okay, music just stopped for no reason. Doink. Oh my god, I just swatted him, that's hilarious. Don't get ahead of yourself, I decide when this ends. Oh, maybe we'll like unmask him in this one. <laughs> Boom! Holy fuck. <laughs> yes, set it off and then we can fight you. This guy's got like, this guy's like the wizard from uh, Spider-Man. You can't protect Gotham from itself. They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. Saddest thing is, they don't even see the smoke. You do a lot of talking. Not sure you can back it up. Try me. Go on. Show me how you'll save your precious city. That's a cool shot. Just like the other liars. Okay, that was weird. It was like so long for only one option. Don't 
got like a supercharged like sprint thing using his things. That's a pretty cool idea. <laughs> Just snap it between his gauntlets and catching like so short Batman. Oh yeah, our cool gadget. Electrocutioner fists from Arkham Origins. What's it like, Lester Baczynski, Lester Bukowski, something like that? I used to be good with all the names, and then I like didn't think about it for like two, three years, and I was like forgot them all. Technically got our fight on a sky rail. Wait, surely his fucking suit is like what's the word? What's the opposite of a conductor? Because it, it should be that, shouldn't it? Because you'd think his suit would be made so that it couldn't conduct electricity. Hang in there. Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Get you somewhere safe. Just stay with me. I know. Come on. She was quite good with the, uh, like, the black lipstick, actually. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Like, that look there is, like, really cool. Like, I feel like it looks different. I can't... I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the goggles. Maybe she's not wearing the goggles. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> I'm fine. I just need to get back out. <laughs> that might work on your butler, but I'm not buying that crap. Stay there. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, huh. What? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would've killed you. It's not that bad. I've been through worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home in a body bag. <laughs> I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now, anyway. Yeah, so how come she's shown, like, no signs of place. being hurt at all by that bullet? Like, it hasn't affected it at all. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. <sighs> I'm sorry I messed things up for you back there. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. 
Okay, she really doesn't like you. I'm not sure I care much for her either. Way to win her over. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Mm. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Bruce Wayne has secrets, really. Those things you hide from the world. And won't let anyone else see? Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. And then you're better than most. You're a good man. He looks like we just sat there in like his Batman pants. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. That's not all you are. I think that's just what you want people to believe. You put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... Nothing. You'd think she'd have a better place. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really. It's not the same, but... I know what you mean. After everything we do, everything we're capable of, coming home just feels... Like a disappointment. Right. Snuggle time. I was hoping for something more than that. Well, you rejected us last time. What do you want from me? You know what I want. That penis. <clears throat> the bat penis. I'll make it up to you. Goddamn. What was that? Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this I thought she was me? gonna undo her hair, but then she just like, stroked herself. Let me help you. Mm. That's why you do best, isn't it? This is getting really <laughs> weird. Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Oh, she wears a bra under it. I guess that makes sense. Mm. Okay, so it's gonna happen. She's gonna fuck us over here. Oh, okay. Or well, maybe just fuck us. Mm. That works as well. Mm. Meow is right. Well, shit, they just started fucking. Okay, cool. I mean, that's one way to try and make him feel better, I suppose. Mm. Rise and shine. That was creepy. Not yet. <laughs> well, her makeup did well to still here. stay on. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That was fun. But you showed me where we stood back at the debate. <laughs> I know last night didn't mean anything. I don't need you to stay and hold my hand. One-night stands don't usually stick around. 
Well, don't worry. I'm leaving. <laughs> He's Trust in a mood. Me. It's better this way. No strings. There are bagels in the fridge if you're hungry. Bagels in the fridge? That's weird. No need to rush out on an empty stomach. I wonder if she had an empty stomach last night. <laughs> oh, okay, we get to walk around. Okay, this is kind of cool. Okay, that's... I think that's beeping. But let's see if there's anything else we can examine. Which it looks like we can't. We couldn't even look at the safe. You'd think we'd be able to. And there's our other uh, back grapple thing. Okay, that's literally it. That's all you can do is do this cowl. Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if, if you were... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. Did you take any pictures? You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. Yeah. Okay, so now we get to look around. That's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, the door's open, Bruce. Fucking hell, have some kind right. of awareness. It'd be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Okay, now it's closed. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. And now we can look at everything. So let's. Okay, now the. Okay, I don't know. Game does what it wants. Let it just do what it wants. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. How did she get in? She can afford to eat anywhere and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even the good place. Well, she looks good for just eating takeaways, to be fair. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. <gasps> oh, can we get them? Can we get them? Mm. It's cool, so I want it. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh. The Gita Govinda. That's... academic. What he said. There you are. Uh, I hope she didn't break anything. Yeah, okay, so we... we Alright, she stole our shit, so we're stealing hers, that's fine. I see your back grapple, and I raise you a pink thing. <gasps> Bloodhaven, <sighs> cool. Vacation That's where um, Dick Grayson goes checklist. when he's Nightwing. That's like his territory is uh, Bloodhaven. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. Good point. And I'm guessing we put some cream cheese on it. Yeah, there you go. At least she's got the essentials. Oh my god, look at him tiptoeing away. Like a little ballerina. Harvey. Hey, I, uh, I brought breakfast. Can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. 
I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Oh dear. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Just hanging out. Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? They fell off. Back off, Harvey. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you! I don't care about you. No one does. None of this is about you, Harvey. It's, I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. We gave you this your money for your thing, man. Fuck now. You can get all the bitches you want, man. He, Chill. He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them. I can handle the children of Arkham. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Bruce Wayne can do anything. Everything Harvey couldn't. He thinks he's so much better! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. He's talking about himself in the third person. You stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. They aren't going to help you. Okay, so they're going for like the Norman Osborn angle where he's got like the goblin inside him. What? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it! Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who oh, am I? Yes, you are. This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play oh, favorites. Okay, he's going for the corner. We both deserve it. One way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Good save. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me! The call's already been made! Harvey! Oh. Bruce! No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone! You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. It's out of breath after two punches. What an idiot. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. Oh, God. Please. I want to be alone, Bruce. Please, not with him. But I can't. Listen to him. Who are you talking about? There's no one else here. That's, it's no one. It's just me. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. 
Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. <sighs> Thought it would be a while before I had to move again. <sighs> You're just gonna take off. Where will you go? I don't know. Not a lot of apartments in Gotham with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Casting like water. Yeah. That means you too. I think. I don't know. Never had one. <sighs> we won't go far. Don't worry. Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. Guess it's gonna be a while. Yeah. You, uh, you stay safe, all right? Same to you. Well, what would be the point in bringing down our own company? Because then by the time we get back in charge, we'll have fucked ourselves, won't we? Unless she means reveal stuff about Cobblepot. But his resume is clean, so I don't really know what exactly she's trying to make me do. I just peered out thin air. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. A step to regaining what you're being forced to give up. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. I prefer yes. to say sure well, as long as you I feel like it sounds much more I suppose uh, your motivation impressive. Is irrelevant. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you, and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always like, taken no one's its role in the community it. very seriously. Isn't it funny? 
How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear, not even close. No one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. I know who you really are, Oz. And I'm gonna expose you. Oh, knowing and proving are two very different things, Bruce. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to meet the future of Gotham, and Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. That is not going to happen. Oh, don't be a sore loser, Bruce. It doesn't look nice on you. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how Old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I know you're lying, Oswald. You don't know anything. I wouldn't lie about this, I promise. Story's too good for that. Buzz suit yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you. But I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. Mm, okay, let's go for let's go for the the yellow because you never really do that. See what happens. Come on, Bruce. Security. Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. Not really. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone, I for one completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, the press to seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. Mm -hmm. I, I think I've probably said it before, but I do like Vicky Vale with brown hair. It's Dropped your pen. Because in the... Uh, what the fuck? I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the formal beauty of Cobb. You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No. I am the children of Arkham. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! <sighs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? Are they going to leave us a cliffhanger for the part four? They are? Okay. Well, that definitely was an ending that I didn't see coming. That Vicky Vale was behind it. I wonder if that's like legit Vicky Vale or whether it's like someone else. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like how in... um. Batman v Superman had Jimmy Olsen 
but he was in it for like five minutes and it like wasn't really Jimmy Olsen but they just kind of gave him the name do you know what I mean I wonder if it's kind of like that or whether I don't know that's just weird okay yeah I did not see that coming uh so I'm happy with that okay I'd say overall probably my least favorite episode so far but I still think it was pretty enjoyable and the ending was really good I don't see us killing Penguin that would be kind of dumb if we just killed him so I wonder all right I know she's like the lead guy, so I'm guessing she's the one that's in the the main guy's suit. Although I don't, I'm, I'll have to relook and see if he's got boobs or not. Because I was thinking it could be a woman, but then I looked for boobs at uh, during the the Sky Train section, and it, it it looked like a dude. So I don't know. But there you go. Okay, good. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. And uh, okay, yeah, we'll have to look through our choices here. Okay, so most people went with Montoya as well, so three out of five people. We didn't we didn't hit him though. Did we? I don't remember hitting him. Yeah, we told him to stay there as an inside man, because that made sense. Did you romance Selena? You and 90% of people spent the night with Selena. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I wonder what would happen if you like didn't. Obviously you wouldn't spend the night with her, but I wonder if you'd like leave and then what would happen in that section where we were with Harvey, that'd be interesting. Did you beat up Harvey? Yeah, okay, we refused to. Okay, I'm pretty sure that stat about us hitting Oswald is wrong. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure we didn't punch him, but I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyway, this game's all fucked up. People's heads are missing. People just disappearing outright. Uh, it's kind of weird. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. That is the end of episode three, New World Order. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you'll be back with me for episode four. I don't know what it's called. We'll find out next time. And hopefully that can uh, pick up from where we left off and see what happens with Penguin. Because maybe he is just a pawn and they're just going to let Bruce Wayne kill Penguin to make us look even worse. So I'm not really sure what their game plan is exactly yet, but maybe we'll find out in the next episode. So all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, stay awesome, and as always, I'll show the next time on so that you can have a little teaser for what's on the next episode. But if you don't want to watch that, like I'm not going to watch it, then uh, just, you know, leave now and then come back for the next one. So if you want to see a teaser, stay. If you don't, then thanks for watching and you guys can go now. But anyway, that being said, thanks for watching, stay awesome, and I'll see you all next time for episode 4 of Batman the Telltale series. Thanks guys. After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Even with Batman as its protector, Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman?